Greetings from 2012. I can't wait to hear your New Year's resolutions, if you made any. One of mine is I've decided not to experience winter this year. I think winter is for suckers. So I have decided to follow summer around the globe. And my first stop is La Jolla, California, where I believe it is supposed to go up to 80 degrees today. A little bit excited about that. So I want to tell you a story that I hope will help you keep whatever resolutions you made because it is a story about determination and not stopping when it gets hard and sticking to your guns against all odds. So one day I was on a plane going somewhere and this woman and her two sons got on really late. So I don't know if you've ever gotten on a plane late. I sure as hell have. And you know, you're getting on and everybody's already seated and they are all sitting facing forward and they kind of have nowhere else to look but at you struggling to get your luggage in the overhead bin. And it's kind of embarrassing. It's kind of like, ta-da! I'm late and I'm on stage and you're waiting for me and I can't fit my bag in this space. So anyway, so she's doing that whole dog and pony show and apparently she had also bought her tickets really late because they were not all seating, sitting together. They had uh, three middle seats in a row. And uh, so she gets her first son to sit in his seat, but the second kid refuses to sit down because he has decided that he is not sitting in the middle seat, but he is sitting by the window. So she informs him that he is sitting in the seat that she bought for him and he informs her that actually mom, you're wrong, I'm sitting by the window. And this goes on for about three minutes and probably the most uncomfortable three minutes of this woman's life because this, the plane is silent, everybody's watching, and this kid is just like, he's not pitching a fit, he's not screaming and yelling, but he is hell-bent to get a window seat and he's doing it in this way that's just like quietly, quietly not screwing around, like just, I'm sitting by the window, mom, I'm sitting by the window. And I remember watching him and thinking, my God, like, first I thought I was really glad that I didn't have kids because I don't know what I would have done. It's like, what do you do when a kid is completely just not taking no for an answer? And so finally some guy got up and gave him the window seat. And I was like, does that kid deserve to be, you know, talked to or does he deserve a, a plaque and a handshake? And I think it's the plaque and a handshake because it's that kind of determination that you need to get what you want in this world. You have to, you know, no matter what you come up against, whatever obstacles come in your way, whatever, whatever things you think you can't do. And hello, what is more scary when you're a little kid than an entire plane full of grown-ups staring you down and not being happy with what you're doing? So that kid is gonna go far, is all I gotta say. And if you wanna go far and keep your resolutions, you've gotta have that kind of determination no matter what. It's this no matter what headspace that gets you what you want, all right? So when those obstacles come up and when you're thinking, you know, screw it, I'll do it next year, keep going. Think of our seven-year-old sensei. All right, so if one of your New Year's resolutions is to write your book, I have very good news for you. I have decided to resurrect my Write Your Book Proposal in One Week Bootcamp. I'm really psyched about this and I'm, I'm gonna get it off the ground really soon because if you have decided that this is the year that you're finally getting off your ass and writing that book, you can get it done with me. This is for people who are writing nonfiction books. If you're writing a nonfiction self-published book or you wanted to go for the traditional publishing, uh, I'm taking all of you. So. I will be giving you more information on that later, but I wanted to let you know that that is coming up and to wish you a happy new year and um, here's to kicking ass and taking names. I'll talk to you soon.